Ugh, oh, yeah, so this is an annoying combination, but thankfully preemptive strike. Um, I think I'm gonna pick on the shark here. gonna attack for now. Let's try that. Wow. That's a good start. The slow ended up becoming a bit unnecessary, but at least we'll get to see. Right, one of them got hit. Let's see the one at the bottom when they take their next move. This guy got his move. That guy got his move. That's what I mean. Again, hard to tell. You cast slow on it, it says it gets less turns, and then it immediately gets a turn afterwards. But probably needed to, to see another round to see what it does. But so far, at least, the state's effects are looking pretty weak. But I think these games get more challenging when you get into kind of exploring mode, and you don't know exactly where you're going. And because the encounter rates are generally quite high, uh, it can drain your resources very quickly. I think if you always know where to go, or you get lucky and the first place you explore is the way you need to go, then it gets much easier. You just make a, you know, you have way less encounters along the way. I think that's, so far from what I've experienced in these games, that tends to be one of the only challenge aspects. There we go, some more level ups. Not much in the way of HP increase there. Okay. So they're struggling to find a place to... Oh, uh, there you go. There's something. Mm. Yeah, Vivi's barely been hit. I want to try... A temper. So we're still trying to experiment with the new moves a little bit here. Yeah, Locke has just generally been picked on so much that... Right, there we go. Let's see the attack power now. Ouch. 41... 7... 92... Yeah, definitely more damage. It's unlucky that we didn't one-hit KO it. It's unlucky that they're both alive, honestly. But yeah, he kept the effect for more than one move, so I don't know when it wears off, but it's good. And Vivi got a nice bump there. So we're all cleanly above 100 HP now. Stuff. Right, so this is another area that we've hit. Again, along here, see what we find. Oh, okay. Once again, try and take out the, the walks first. Nah, I wanted those two to be enough. 75 is enough, so we didn't kill it by like the tiniest margin. We're going to find another settlement, so that's good. 102. I think that might be the first triple-digit damage we've seen. Nice. Right, where is this place? Elfheim. Okay. So we have mention of an elf that stole something. Uh, I just don't know what we can do. Please help our prince. Check their weapon shop first. So we have some upgrades. Wait, what? Why is it labeled like that if only he can use it? That's so odd. A staff topped with an iron ring. That's very weird. Okay. Let's 
so he gets an upgrade. Accuracy falls a little bit, but I don't think that's a huge deal. I get a dagger here. Okay. Get a quick rest in as well. 100 girl, yeah. I mean, it's always a good barometer for how far along you are, like how high level the region is. But I think I'll take it for now. Still, co It always costs less than whatever items you need to heal, I think. Okay. He looked a bit bigger than normal. Like, it looked quite impressive, this place. So I thought maybe something a little different, but... I am a sage. When the time is right, the future is revealed to me. I shall wait patiently until then. I might have to speak to him again in the future. Right, iron armor we have. Copper armlet, wow. Iron shield, leather cap, helm. So get this guy a helm, and I think we'll get caps for three of them. And we'll grab that too. This one is a bit high level, we'll wait for that. But continuing to get some upgrades in here. Helm, and cap. Every little helps. I can upgrade the shield. Alright, defense 31 already. <laughs> nice. Alright, let's keep going. Weapons and armor made of mithril are sturdy and powerful. We should give them a try. You'll be surprised. Yeah, I guess for experienced Fire Fantasy players, we won't be that surprised. We know the merits of mithril. If the prince does not awaken, there will be no elf king. We will be at the mercy of the dark elf's evil power. Um, I don't think I'm going to get any magic at this stage. I, bet, I think I do have a level 3 slot, actually, to be fair. So maybe I should have a look. Whoa, okay, yeah. We're definitely not ready. I think we might have jumped the gun a little, so let's not get too excited here. But generally, I think these games don't tend to let you do things that you shouldn't be able to do in terms of the story. Like, you can reach areas that you shouldn't be able to reach, but in terms of story, what, there's a second black ma magic thing? Wow. Okay. So we have the level 4s here as well. Wow. Hmm. So for now at least, I'm not seeing... I think like within these towns, no one knows where Astos, King of the Dark Elves, has gone. So we're back out here. exactly sure how to tackle this. Let's just head deeper out here, see what we can find. I just have a feeling I'm going to start to run into somewhere I really shouldn't, and just get badly taken out. I think obviously with the Black Mage generally having such low agility, slowing just doesn't help that much. Like as in it comes into the battle quite late, so everyone's been slowed. So now they've all had a turn each, I think. Now they've all had a turn. That one's had a second turn. It should have been slow. It literally had a turn a second ago. That one had a turn too. Definitely not clear on how any of that works. I think slow in particular is a mechanic I want to investigate, so that's going to be another thing for, for next session. But Locke continues to get attacked hard, like, he is hurting. Again. 
Cobra. Okay, so we might encounter our first stage effects here. Let's just do a blink. Okay, still about the same damage. But managed to take them out. So I think we're still keeping up with the level of the enemies that we're facing here. I feel like I might have already run into one of those where I've explored as much as I can and I've missed where I'm supposed to go by like a, a tiny amount. And as a result, I'm gonna suffer. <laughs> we'll see. We'll try a dark. Again, block getting picked on. Yeah, I feel like these should be quite evasive, but they they haven't been able to evade much. Yeah, it feels to me like darkness may be working better than slow or sleep even. All right, we'll get a level up soon. All right, another place we found. Western Keep. Okay, so wasn't this a place that was generally inaccessible again? But we'll see. Let's head in. Wow, it's a big old place. Alright. I'm going to stay near the exit for my first encounter. <laughs> Or maybe you don't get encounters unless you actively run into a bat. That would be quite interesting, actually. That's pretty cool. The fact that they're avoidable in, in that way, I think that's kind of nice. But I do think I'm not going to be able to get through. Because I think I was told that the keep is kind of off limits for now. But let's see. Yeah, the mystic key. So there's a lot of things that are chained together, and if you can find one of them, it's going to kind of unravel. But I haven't found that first piece that's going to unravel the rest. The ship, obviously, like getting the ship opens things up quite a lot, and so you gain a lot of freedom in where you can go. And so I think if you don't immediately go towards the right place, you could find yourself uh, exploring a lot and not finding what you need. But I did find this guy. I was tricked by Astos, King of the Dark Elves, and now my castle has fallen into ruin. If I could only retrieve the crown from my marsh from the marsh cave, I would be able to restore my castle. Might you bring me the crown? Yeah, so the marsh cave is somewhere I've jet that's basically where I've been looking for, and of course, as luck would have it, that's the one place I haven't been able to get into yet. Um Like how far could the marsh cave be? Like, this area that I'm in right now looks pretty marshy to me, but... It's gotta be around here somewhere. Okay, with these guys, I think we just straight up attack now. Just a shame that Auron can't one-hit KO them yet, but with the help of the mage, they managed to do it. level up. Good HP boost there. Good HP boost for Yuna. Maybe the white mages are just built like that. They just they just got good HP. Who knows? But yeah, like I'm not seeing a marsh cave here. So I think at this stage, let's go encounters off. This is a quality of life improvement. Otherwise, I think I'm going to just end up getting over leveled if I just run around too much. 
we'll find where this cave is and then we'll proceed from there. Like, it shouldn't be that hard. This looks like a marsh to me. I think that's it. Let's double check. Marsh cave, okay. So now that I found it, what I will do is go back to where I was before just to keep it fair. And then I will start to make my way down. It's the one corner of the world I didn't look at, of course. But that's the way it goes with these games. It kind of just depends. Like Sometimes it's a little bit of luck. Sometimes it's a little bit of being observant. But like when you look at the map here, I can't like... Maybe if you look really close, you can tell that it's, it's slightly dotted with like light blue. But from my kind of distance here, I couldn't tell that that was a, a marshy area. But yeah. Okay, so now encounter's back on. Let's head towards the marsh. Oh my god. But hopefully there's little risk of us being underleveled for the, the marsh. Definitely holding up a lot better now. I still wonder if the White Mage is ever going to get some kind of curing spell that hits the whole party. Almost there. Ooh. Marsh environment, new enemies. And probably new stace effects. Oh man, they've got a lot of HP as well. Not good. It's going to be their turn to attack soon. Good evasion. Good evasion. Wow, they're really not doing well. There you go. I didn't set. I didn't see a status either. It didn't hit. That definitely looked like a status-inducing attack to me. But the knife not doing very well at all. Neither is the hammer. So I think they're higher level, so like they're much more able to almost completely negate damage. There you go. First poison of the game. And well, unfortunately our mages have to do mage stuff now, otherwise they're, they're really not going to have much impact on the fight. And the antidote didn't get used, okay. So there we go, it does carry on. So from the very first Final Fantasy, the mechanic of status effects continuing on after the battle's over was in place. Right, so I think this is a good place to put a manual save in. Okay. Is it worth a tent or, like, sorry, a sleeping... I think it might be worth a sleeping bag. I think we'll take a sleeping bag. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a cocoon. Okay, so I think we can enter our first legit dungeon here. As soon as you see that uh, B1, you know. Just listen to the music a bit. Okay, so is it the same deal? Are Final Fantasy dungeons like ah? There you go. So it's not the same as it was in the Keep. It's good to know. So I guess the bats kind of instigate a specific type of attack. Sorry, a specific type of encounter. So let's get a feel for what these guys can do first. Ninety-five takes them out. That's good. And let's just let's let's instigate this. Kiki. Key, key. Oh, they don't instigate a fight? That's kind of interesting. So what I'll try to do, I'll try to have a general look around and not expand out the map. Like, this at least gives you a little bit of a preview, but I don't want to see, I guess, the entire level before um, stepping through it. So I think I'll try to go my own way first, and then maybe once I'm done with the level, then I'll bring it out and, um, and have a look. So yeah, I don't have the, the dire ability. Dia, dire. 
but this is probably not going to be enough to really make much of a difference here. Mm. Let's just see how much our physical attacks are actually going to do here. 17. 17 is enough for a kill. Wow. Okay. So this is what I mean. I think the game, obviously, in an ideal world, this is the first place you would come to. So you'd probably have, like, I don't know, what level are we? 10. You'd probably come here at, like, level 6 or 7, let's say. So it might be a little bit over-leveled here. But it's all good. So that's already a way down. Okay, these guys have been in it from the start as well. It's a slightly more primitive version of a design that we see a few times later on. But we'll just keep doing normal attacks for now, see, see what happens. Yeah, the two, again, as the two, if the two mages can combine for a kill, then we're good, but it's not nice. It's some kind of paralysis there. Surely that one's in battle though, right? Yeah. Okay. So, keep going here. werewolf and an ambush. It had been a while since we've been ambushed, if I'm being honest, so 21. And it carries a poison with it. I'm going to try and end the battle quick, though. 59 is still alive. I think I'd rather heal poison after the fights. In case the same character just gets re-poisoned anyway. I don't have a huge amount of antidotes, to be fair. But I think we'll still use them. Alright. Trick or treat. <sighs> okay, that's kind of lame. It kind of goes to show you how early you are. I guess, well, to be fair, um, I thought this was the... Yeah, so the dagger is the better one, the knife is the worst one. Fair enough, it's not too bad then. There's just not much I can really do to all of them. Very curious what the first, like, proper... Like, we had our first boss battle against Garland, but again, it was so, so early in the game. But I don't think it's going to be that much of a factor. I just... I, I feel like I just don't need it against these guys. I want to do, like, other stuff, but... Probably just keep my MP in more dangerous situations. I was going to say, we do have the paralysis thing though, and since he has been paralyzed, I think I'm going to go for magic now so that I can make some more progress, otherwise, I'm going to be in trouble. Yeah. The land is some crits too. to try and get away with not using a second magic spell here. And I'm also tracking the paralysis of Auron to see if it... Uh, like, once you're paralyzed, is that the whole fight? Or... It seems to be. So I think, once again, it's more of an endurance thing. Like, how many encounters are you going to get into, and what's going to happen by the time you complete them? Like, can you have enough MP to survive? Because they come in packs of six, man. Like, it's tough. If you don't have Dire here, you're going to be in, in trouble. So, yeah, probably regret not investing in that. I really thought by now we'd be hit with Darkness a bit more regularly as well. Still, I want to keep these for, for battle. Let's just throw one Cure on them. Oh, I can't... Oh, okay. So in the original Fire Fantasy, you can't use Cure Magic on the Undead. So that's something they changed later on. Because I, I did find it a bit curious that they had a spell called Dire, which was specifically aimed at the Undead. I still think ultimately it was the right choice to let cure, like just let Cure Magic damage them. So yeah, I still assume that you could use this. And that's where obviously having experience from the other games uh, can hurt you here. Mm. Yeah, so my White Mage ends up being a bit useless here. I only have three more fires left. 
I'm still going to use one of them, I think. Uh, when there's six of them, the odds of someone getting paralyzed is pretty high. As long as they don't get paralyzed like the first hit, then we're not too bad. But they're picking on Auron a lot. He's been paralyzed in basically every fight we've had against Ghouls. I think that's some unlucky RNG. Once you're paralyzed, that's it. Picked up a staff. But HP-wise, we're doing well at least. Let's get in here. Ooh. Might afflict some negative statuses, so I'll just do a bit of that. Again, Oren getting picked on here. He's been poisoned again. He's the only one that's received any status effects at this point. Every single status effect, I think, has hit Oren. Until now. But these guys hit hard. So again, even with Blink, she took 26 damage there. These are tough customers. Alright, let's see. Is it on a per step basis? 133. 132, yeah. Well, we're already basically. Oh my god, she's got it too. What the hell? I have to spend the entire thing. Poisoned. That's insane. Not much I can do. Ooh, that's a lot of gill, though. She doesn't have anything for it, right? Yeah. We just gotta deal with it. But the sound is gonna be a bit annoying for it. Just keep straight up attacking here. Wow. Finish it. Wow. That's so unlucky. It must have like one HP left. There we go. At least we get a level up soon. Yeah, the scorpions are nasty, man. It felt like every single attack they landed, the poison hit. Basically, my entire party is going to be poisoned at this rate. Yeah. As of this point, there's nothing I can do about it. I mean, you needed to stock up on, like, 15 antidotes here. Strength refuses to go up. Lock strength went up at least, that's good. Some nice gains there. Some nice gains again. Okay. I wonder if they have any of those springs. Uh, I mean, instead of a potion, it would have been nice if they gave us um, an antidote. <laughs> but we're going to power through here as best we can. But I think we're just going to get overrun. So I think we might actually die in our first legit encounter here. I underestimated how much antidote we'd need. And I mean, again, I've tried to use things like darkness, etc. But they just don't work well enough. You still get hit, man. And well, we've already had like 10 encounters. So if I used darkness on each one, I would have run out of darkness ages ago. So I think we're just going to get, like, this is what I mean, like, endurance-wise, we just don't have the endurance to get through the the cave. And I still think that's one of the biggest differences, like, the amount of endurance you need is just different in these older games. 